What's going on guys? Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We've got some awesome stuff in today's episode, but before we do that, check this out. This is a new unit called the Gravity Backpack. Look at that! That's so cool! So they've posted a couple things recently uh, about these new units that are coming to the game. This is one of them, the Gravity Backpack. It pulls everything in to uh, like a sphere and then essentially like allows them to be like an easy target for something else. And man, I have no, there's so many different applications that you can think of that you could do with something like this. And this is just one of the cool new units. And I actually tweeted something at the devs the other day that somebody had uh, left a comment on the on the channel about real zombies. Like, a red zombie can turn blue people red, and they're, like, definitely going to put that in. And I was like, that's freaking amazing that, like, a comment that somebody left went through, and they're going to probably put that into the game. So we've got the Gravity Backpack, which is just crazy in and of itself, and then we have some other new units that they're going to be adding as well. There is going to be a pirate faction. This is the this is one of the pirates. Um, there's also the blunderbuss, which we're gonna look at here in a second. But this guy looks like he's got like a pistol and a club or something, and uh, he looks like a total madman. And he looks like he's able to take on some uh, like a lot of things. Look at him just shooting randomly, and then he like just dominates these. Uh, he shot him in the groin. <laughs> he uh, dominates these barbarians, which. I'm assuming they must have it must have more HP, and so that's why it's able to withstand these attacks. But look at them, just like one of these guys, just doing so much damage, wrecking these guys. And so the pirate faction is coming, which is really exciting. Uh, this guy's got dual pistols, so we've got a single pistol, pistol and a club. We've got dual pistols, and then the blunderbuss guy, which we're gonna look at here in a second. But this is really cool, man. Like. I'm so excited that there is going to be, this is the blunderbuss, uh, that there's going to be a pirate faction. The fact is, the fact of the matter is, tabs keeps expanding, and I love it. Look at that spread, and how many get hit with that one shot. Look at that! That's unbelievably cool, man! <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Like, it's just, look at them bloom back. Um, yeah, so, needless to say... The pirate faction, I think, is going to be absolutely amazing. And I am very, very, very much looking forward to this. Uh, okay, what else? Is there anything else in this that's... Uh, look at that spread! Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, I'm really excited because I'm back once again with user-suggested battles. And man, you guys leave some amazing comments that... I say amazing because they're going to make for a great video, and I'm really excited about today's video because there's some really freaking cool battles. Uh, so if you guys have a suggestion for a battle idea, leave it in the comment section below. That way I can see, I can look through them, thumbs up the ones that you like, the ones with the most thumbs up usually are the ones that catch my eyes the most. Uh, but I, I kind of looked through all of them as you saw in yesterday's video. Somebody who didn't even have any thumbs up uh, was a battle that I chose because I thought it was so cool. So today we've got some really cool ones. We've got Riders versus Police, which features Trump stuff, which is awesome. We've got a versus battle, so like uh, nations versus nations. Ho how many Hawatches does it take? Which we're going to do first. Versus Dark Peasant. And then the maybe, if I have time, the Battle of Waterloo, which is a pretty legitimate battle. So we're going to start off with uh, watch Watches versus Dark Peasants. And they want to know how many Watches does it take to kill a Dark Peasant. And I would also like to know that because that's a really cool thing that I have yet to test. Let's set this battle up. Okay, so here's my only concern about this. I don't know if the Watches are even going to hit the Dark Peasant. I think we need a lot more than this. And are they even going to hit him? Yeah, they're hitting them. They're definitely hitting them, but it's not, uh, they're not doing, <laughs> they're not doing enough damage. Uh, we gotta do that again. Okay, I, I think I've added more, but I'm not too sure, and I, I, I moved them back some, because I think that's gonna matter. So my hope is, is that, the ones on the side don't really do anything. My hope is, is that they pin them down, and then the ones in the back, whoa, whoa, whoa they got them! <laughs> what happened to him there? Did you see him fly? Let's see if we can recreate whatever just happened. Okay, in before raining arrows. Oh, that's glorious. Look at all those. Slow motion with the watches is even better. That's so cool. So he like flew or something there. He got hit so many times that he like shot up in the air. 
Oh. <laughs> oh no. He's still alive. And there's a couple watches left. Oh. 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 Yo. There it is. What even? Okay. So the problem with this battle. The problem with this battle. <laughs> what is wrong with me? The problem with this battle is that uh, uh, it, it, the majority of them miss. So I wonder, can we move him back a little bit like that right there? Is this going to be better? Why does he go over here? Oh, there we go. Now they're coming straight at him. Oh, man. Look at him. <laughs> what in the heck? That's awesome. Wait, let's do it one more time. What the heck even happened right there? I wonder, does it matter if it's on slow motion or not? Oh, that's so freaking cool. Look at him. What's he doing? Why is he flying? <laughs> Why is he flying? I don't really understand, but that's freaking cool. Great suggestion, man. That was a great suggestion. I really, I really like that battle. Okay, the next battle is a versus battle. Napoleon and Vikings versus Crusader in Greece. And so the next battle will be the Riders versus Police, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so I feel like I have this relatively balanced uh, as best as I can. We've got two cannons, two bullets. Oh, we need a special unit back here uh, because we got the Axemen. Uh, hmm, okay, so let, maybe we'll do like a couple of Spearmen. I don't know what, what it will be even. Cause they don't, it's not like they have a ton of health. They have 150, this guy has 1,000. 1, um, okay, so we've got cannons versus ballistas, catapults. I always say ballistas. The axemen, we've got some spearmen, we've got spear throwers and musket men, we've got archers, we've got footmen versus vikings, headbutters versus thieves, and then the barrel rollers. Okay, let's battle. I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know. The freaking barrel rollers. I think that the uh, catapults could, that the blue side could win, because the catapults will hit the axemen. The archers are just gloriously good. Ah, see right there, that's my thought exactly. The, we saw before that the catapults are very easily can take on an axeman because they keep hitting his axe. Oh, that was sweet. The cannonball hit the the catapult ball in midair. There it is. Oh, blue side dominate. I think it's because the archers are so good. The archers are like ridiculously good. That <laughs> that catapult stuck back there. Okay, the archers are really good. They cause a lot of damage. So we're gonna take two of them off. Cause we got spear throwers and musket men over here. I almost want to take off the barrel rollers to get a more legitimate battle, and instead replace them with maybe maybe a, maybe some more Vikings. 2260 versus 2380. That's a little better. Uh, let's let's do this. Let's see what happens here. Okay, let's see who wins in this battle. The Viking. Okay, the Vikings win that battle. Interesting. This is a pretty cool battle. Thank you guys so so much for the suggestions. And uh, I like I said, I picked the ones that either look really good in terms of battle wise, or the ones that have the most uh, thumbs up. The Musketmen are surviving now. So this is very interesting. Oh, over there on the other side, the muskman gets taken out by a catapult. Well, what do you call those? Boulders? Catapolders? Catapolders? Catapult balls? Uh-oh. This is looking a little different this time. Come on, catapult. There it is. We got one catapult left versus one cannon. Oh, game over. Blue side victory. That was a pretty cool battle. I don't know really. I mean, that was a lot closer, and I don't know how to make this any better because if we do the ballistas instead of the catapults they're gonna wreck faces uh the archers are pretty good the muskmen are pretty good it was very balanced i liked it a lot i thought it was pretty good you guys have to let me know if you thought it was okay or if i you know kind of suck at doing these arrangements or what but i always try to do them the best that i can okay the next one's gonna be amazing because it's riders versus police and i think it's gonna be <laughs> really funny okay so they said to do riders versus police police is trump 5 M16s and 10 Shieldmen versus Peasants 20? 15 Thieves, 3 Musketmen, and 1 Dark Peasant. So at first glance, I thought all oh, these battles going to be ridiculously one-sided because of all the M16s. And I still think it's going to be because the Dark Peasant gets pushed back by the M16s. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a Trump. Trump's going to be in the front, you know. We're going to have 2 M16s to start with. 
and then a bunch of shieldmen. Now, my thought is, is that this side's still going to win, and we're going to find out. So, we got one, two, three, one. I got to put them, like, on the side so they don't get shot up by the M16. Four, four, five, five. Okay. There we go. So, there's the, there's the, the riot shields, and then we've got a bunch of peasants. This is going to be just awful. We're going to need more than that, dude. I'm going to load up this side, sorry to say. But we're going to need a lot we're going to need a lot more than you suggested if this is going to go if this is going to go anywhere near okay for this side. Um, okay, so we got some thieves. Uh, 15 thieves. 2 3 four, I don't even know. Let's just 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 thieves. Oh, wow, I'm good, huh? <laughs> I'm good. 3 musket men. Uh, where are the musket men? Napoleon. Three musket men, really? That doesn't seem like enough. And then one dark peasant. This is the tricky part. Because the dark peasant could be pretty good. We're going to put him right here. All right, let's see what happens. See, he just gets shot back. He doesn't even get a chance. Oh, but the, look at the M16 men are distracted. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Look at the M16s. They're so good. Trump versus the dark peasant. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? He just fell over dead. He didn't even do anything. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. The M16 man versus the Dark Peasant is no contest. Maybe if the Dark Peasant gets stuck. Yes. Uh oh. This is. Oh, they still hit him. Wow. I thought if you got stuck behind the tree, maybe he could win. See, look at that. Two M16 men did that. So we're going to take them one. We're going to take them one off. It, they're very powerful. It's the. Uh, it's definitely the Dark Peasant's weakness. Alright, there we go. The police force is not... Dude, Trump died already to the Dark Peasant. How in the world? Uh-oh. Here comes the Dark Peasant. Oh! Wow, we took off one M16 and it changed the whole, the whole thing. This is a pretty cool battle, too. Thank you for the suggestions. How about we do that? Let's see what happens here. Spread them out a little bit. Trump... They sh are they shoot is he shooting the wow look at him mode oh how did he <gasps> the musket men got him the dark peasant's still alive too wow this could still go in favor of the blue side the musket men pulling it out wow we're going old school we're going it's like it's like not rioters versus police it's like government versus militia that's what it's like it's like government versus militia you know because you've got, like, the musket man, which is, like, old school weapon. But the thing is, is that they'd all have sophisticated stuff regardless. That was a pretty cool battle. Thank you for the suggestion. Okay, so the next one is... Of, uh, we already did the first battle. The Battle of Waterloo. Now, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so this is a very interesting battle, and I really don't know how it's going to go. Uh, it's very similar on both sides, except for the barrel rollers versus the thieves. Then, uh, on the French side, we've got four cannons and a samurai master, which is Napoleon. We got a uh, samurai master over here as well. Four cannons, two musket men. This side has three cannon and four musket men, because I figure the cannons are going to come into play, and we'll we'll really see how this goes because it's very similar and even. And I don't really have. I think the musket. I think the red side might win because the musket men. We're gonna find out how that guy went flying into the samurai master. Uh, cause, yes, they have more cannons, but I think the musketmen are really gonna... Why did you just hit your own guy? Here we go! Battle in the middle! The battle of epic samurai proportions. Look at that. So That's some cool action. Here we go. Ready? Oh, no! He got killed by the cannon. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? I have no idea. They've got... They don't have, a. Uh, it's pretty even in terms of cannons right now. But the musketmen, they're still focusing on the can on the, uh... Samurai guy. Oh, there went the the red, the blue sides are gonna win this. Wow, I did it. Did the extra cannon make a huge difference? It probably did. Or maybe it was all luck because of the fact that the samurai master was still alive. Let's try it one more time and see what happens. Because I think it might have been just coincidence. Because the samurai masters were fighting, but this side focused on the samurai master because it's whoever samurai master. Like. Uh, is left over, I think. Wow, the cannon's just pelting that guy right in the face. That was a good hit right there. Took out two things. At one. No, it didn't. It, I thought it did. But. Okay, here we go. 
Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. See, it's all luck, I think. You got two cannons left versus the Samurai. Oh, I don't know. The blue side. I think that extra cannon really plays a huge difference. Wow, he got hit and he's still up. For some reason, he can't hit that cannon. There it is. Wow, that was... Same. Wow, there it is. Blue side, I think that I think the extra cannon is really playing a huge difference. I would have rather done this battle in a different way where they have different units. But, I mean, it's, you know, it, it makes sense. It's kind of cool. And I really, uh, uh, I don't know. I really like these big battles. But I wonder if we we should expand this and make it even more crazy. I don't, I don't know. I think I think we're going to leave it for for that right now. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely make sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't already. But make sure uh, to leave a comment. Tell me your battle ideas because I'd love to hear them. And uh, I'm going to be making more of these user suggested battles because they're pretty freaking cool. And uh, I really I really liked them. That, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully things are going well for you in your life. I'll see you next time.